Hi, I'm Sid Tyson. I'm with Fast Oak Motors out of Astor, Florida. Today we're going to be doing an installation of a 3 inch drop dig in. The particular dig in that we're using today is normally used for the bow, but we've come up with a little different adaptation here at Fast Oak for um, mounting it off the back of the boat. So basically, you have your kit that comes, you have what's called a puck. I call it a puck, it might be a technical term that they use a dig in, but I call it a puck. This is what you'll mount to the boat. Now what I've done to kind of speed up the process is I've pre-drilled some holes. If you notice on the puck itself, these are the four mounting holes that you use when you mount it to the boat. So what you want to do is line up where you want to place it on the, on the particular hole that you're installing it. What I've done is I've gone ahead and I've pre-drilled holes because the customer has predetermined that he would like to have his mounted right here at the back of the boat. So once you've determined where you want to mount it at, I then take the puck, you can mark your holes, you can use a marker, you can pre-drill it with a smaller drill, that kind of thing. And then what I like to use is what's called a rib nut. So rib nut is a quarter 20 rib nut. You can bolt it that way, it can be taken on and off, and it's not a, 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 a screw or something that could potentially rip out. It's a little more secure, it's just something I do is different from anybody else. But well, basically you take an 11 30 seconds drill bit, you have your, your hole where you want, your pre-marked hole, and you drill it. I've got two here. So drill those out. And then once you've drilled that hole out, you'll come back with the rib nut. It's inserted into the boat. Once it's in, you unscrew the, the wrench, and then you do you repeat the step on the next remainder holes that you've got. So once you've got all your rib nuts in place, you can use a screw, you can use a self-tapper, whatever you prefer. This is just how I do it to make sure that it's safe and it's secure. Now, I also like to make sure there's no metal flakes, nothing there rib nuts over time but once you get them there set your screws so tighten them all down accordingly This whole process, start to finish, takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Not very hard, very easy to do, and is a very good product, and is uh, awesome for a quick wind anchor or or a uh, 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 an anchor to, to hold your boat in place. You know when you're fishing or or whatever. But once you get them all tightened up. Like so, you come back. You have your pre-tapped holes that come on the puck or the mounting bracket. You come back, tighten these down. can use a uh, screw gun a little easier and quicker <laughs> but um once you get them tightened down you can uh, use it and 
it's an excellent alternative to open an anchor and and um uh, having to deal with you know electronics or or that kind of thing and it's well within the budget won't break your wallet and uh they work extremely well and like i said to install them on a boat literally takes 30 minutes tops um and that's even if you've never done one before but very easy very simple and the 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 stick pin or the pole that they use to uh, hold you come in uh, standard colors of white um, and then if you want white and black and then if you want a camouflage or or another color you know black that kind of thing you can order that as well but as you can see very strong very durable and then the stick pin that you use this one comes with a t-handle that you can tie a rope off to if you want to stick it out in the mud or something as well doesn't have to go in here when you when you're anchored up comes with extra clips to where you can mount this in your boat you can clip it into those clips so it's up off the floor out of the way and you're not tripping over it but once you get it all done insert it goes in just that easy it'll hold you anywhere you're fishing even in a strong windy day it'll still hold you and uh, they come in eight foot they come in ten foot and they actually have camouflage stick pins as well and that's it simple